It really gives me anxiety. Speaking of Master Grace, well, I had ordered a uh, Freedom 2.0, got it in, mm -hmm. popped the box on it. I said, damn, this is a lot of runners gone. So you know what I did? What is going on, people? The Undergated Boys. we back with another episode. I promise y'all, this isn't like Martin, like the last season of Martin. Like, you can't <laughs> find Martin and Gina on the same screen. Like, I promise you, there's no beef between CD and Austin. Right. Like, when, when one... Is That's my brother, Austin. dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, we're back, man. Glad to have CD back. Austin is under the weather as well, so brother get well but we have cd back after a pretty good hiatus yeah it was a How little two week layoff man oh my god bro. i don't know where to start uh first chloe's birthday so we had to do that but before that flooding issue so half the house was tore up fans going and then the week after that man i got some type of stomach bug dog that had me dead so i appreciate you guys holding it down um it was it was Wait. dope to be a a fan, I get, I get to sit there and watch on release day like the rest of them. So, oh, that, man, that was we know cool. he's gonna hold it down. We know he's gonna hold it down for you. My week, man, up and down, up and down, but it's here. So, I had a job interview, but like completely nailed the job interview. Good to go. Got the offer right there on the spot, and literally 20 30 minutes no, I'll say about an hour later hour later i got into a pretty bad car wreck luckily with the powers that be i was able to walk away with just a fractured fractured hand i don't have my brace on right now but you can see the difference in like yeah, dog, your hand looks like it's a, like one hand's right? about 40 pounds heavier dog yeah, and that's how it feels so but luckily how the accident looked just to get this the powers that be, man. It's the powers that be. So, blessing, man. We, blessing. We're glad you made it on the other side, man. Because when I seen them pictures, dog, I was like, "What in the world?" Yeah, so man. Just come out. It was, just come out with a hand, man. Yeah, and I know what it is. It's like the um, it's, it's the devil working against us because oh, at this sure. point, at this point, because I broke out the the airbrush, it's like same day. Like my interview was at one. I, I was airbrushing for the first time in months at like Shoot, like Steph Curry out the gun too. Man, it felt good to be back oh. with a nice breezy day outside. Had the, the doors going, had everything, everything ventilated. Everything was good. Like three months off of airbrushing and then boom, literally boom. So, and I'm left-handed too. So I can't do it. Even if it was my right hand, I don't think I'd be able to, because you have to hold the alligator clip like that and I can't. Yeah. This is about as far as you have to be holding it, you have to like set it down into something, and yeah. Spray and around it that's doing that's so, not, nah. yeah. That's a no go, but other that's than right, that, though, that's more time free to be planning, dog. Yeah, yeah, and to catch up on some anime. I promise you, I won't catch up on some anime. I want to <laughs> catch up on, um, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We have a yeah, fun little episode. We'll get to a check in later on in the episode, but let's do the the fun part what everybody's kind of always sticks around for building and breaking down that backlog man you've been gone i feel like you might have some heat you want me to go? i'll go first man i'll go, go ahead Coop. I, got, I got a surprise go. for you that i didn't even tell you about so go ahead and go of course it. of course dog i know as all as always okay okay I'm, I'm sorry i tripped out for a second because it looks different i'm gonna show you what it is <laughs> so i got to order in from new type Another uh, jester. Another Jester's high grade the best jester. Guy, I swear. Yep. So everybody, if y'all been peeping the shows last I think a month ago, a month and a half ago. Yep. I picked up the just this jester. Then I picked up the what that? Just Jester Cannon. Cannon. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So I said, shout out to the homie CD. He did the black tri-star e freaks. Kind of like a 
paying homage to us the unnegated boys so i said you know what let me join in i'm not gonna do black tri stars i'm gonna y'all know me i'm gonna stick to the color scheme <laughs> and yeah and i'm definitely gonna do it right i already asked austin for some spare radomes for his unit so got some spare <laughs> radomes coming for austin if you don't got a radome it's not austin right and also from new type which this is what made me throw off i didn't think the i don't kind of remember if the uh, picture was like this for the other two i ordered it looks crazy so i feel like they've been like revamping some of their decals yeah so I've, I've noticed that i've got some decals like the first set of black tri are completely different than the ones i got now mm. yeah, that, These that are, this is the jester uh, water slides from g reworks the I want to try to get as close to, to that color scheme as possible because that's tough. That's you notice tough. they got the closed fist on there too. Mm. No more open, no O no hands. Open. Yeah, no, yeah. Unless you're putting something in it, man. Right. But we're gonna um, we're gonna. That's a project within itself. I don't know if it's gonna be a project twenty three project, but and I am gonna knock it out by the end of the year. I think it'd be pretty dope. And I might mail it out to y'all, man. I might paint them up. Send them out. Send them out. Send them out. Yeah. Um, last thing, order came in from P Bandai, but it ain't what everybody think it is. We have <laughs> Gamma hey. One SH Fig Arts from Dragon Ball Super Superheroes. So this is one of the villains, I should say, in the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, Gamma One, that comes with the extra Gohan Super Saiyan head scope so if you have the sh fig arts which is a standard release of gohan you could ha you could put the super saiyan head scope up there did you grab and, that one that gohan yeah i grabbed gohan i got it pretty for pretty cheap too no i got that off of think toy arena toy arena and i also picked up his brother gamma 2 which comes with if you see back here comes with piccolo's I guess cloak, but it's for Gohan. So you could do yep. Gohan and a cloak and the glasses. And Come on, man. Gamma one and two. They I give it to B P Bandai. These um or Bandai, not P Bandai, but it's only P Bandai. They went crazy with Gohan because they did pan. They dropped pan as well. Kid Ooh. pan. And that can't comes with a Gohan head sculpt where it's like his hair is a little messed up. He's like smirking, winking at Pan. You could put on top. I kind of like that they put the extra stuff in these other kits. Yeah, so kind of go out and get it. I like that. Yeah, what? And I wish they did that with kits. I wish they right. did that with kits. Where like, if you want, you know, this P Bandai, we'll throw it in there with this kit. Right. You know, um, that that be like pretty. Austin dope. was telling us like the the Buster Gundam Master Grade comes with the. Uh, rocket launcher that you can use for the gold astray that's on pb mm. like, i didn't know that so like stuff like that like those little things that's pretty dumb. helps out it helps out right for sure and last week i don't even have it on me because it was in my car and i put everything i had to take everything out of the car and put it in storage but i forgot to show it last week but it was i'll put a picture up here it is that third party um gatling gun system that you put <clears> on, <throat> on a quant the command quant. I want to throw that yes, on sir. one of these jesters. So we're gonna have a cannon jester, a long range jester, and heavy artillery jester. The assault jester. Yeah. The, the yeah. heavy the heavy arms jester. Dang. Exactly. See, I, I wish I was on that pod last week because you and Austin really came out with the big boys. You pulled out yeah, the PG man. and Austin yeah. pulled out the ES. The heavy <sighs> things, man. I got Talking something about. for y'all though. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And we have to find out a little bit of it right now. Go ahead, take it away, bro. Man, um, so I took a break from kits for a while, so I, I did pick up something. So we'll, we'll we'll start with that one at the. We'll go reverse order. We'll do the kit last. First thing mm. I grabbed though was the black tri stars. Always were missing one thing, man. I kept saying, like, "Where's the third party triple action base?" Shout out to Zealous Builds, Zealous Hangers on Instagram for what it is, but Zealous something. Told him about it. He's like, yeah, I know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. It turned out to be the plug. So I did catch a third party triple action base. So still wrapped 
Um, I've been out of it, man. I haven't even touched a Gundam since the flood. Sickness. But when I'm back, this 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 is getting put to work. So I was excited for this, and I got it for a good deal. So shout out to him. Um, I'll definitely be touching down. He has he had the plug on some other things, so you'll be seeing that. Um, I did pick up some stuff from New Type as well. Gotta gotta have the G reworks. This is for the GM guards type. I wanted to finish my guard type so bad that I just said forget it. If you guys don't know, G reworks uses reuses a lot of the same decals, so I was actually able to use all the G re reworks decals I've had from previous kits to finish it. Mm -hmm. But now I have the ones for the shield, so that was like the last thing I was waiting on. So mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go back and redo the shield. This kit, man, it, it looks good. Build man. It looks, I, I might it build good. another in this in this base colorway because this. That this guy, I'm telling cool. you, I'm telling you, that's what I'm gonna do. That God's I might God. do gray though. I might do like an off white light gray besides the mm -hmm. white i'm becoming a, a big fan of off white and off, or like a light that light gray rather than white when it comes that to guy in notes i've been hearing the guy in notes light gray man is it so that's what it is that's that's mm. what i hear that's what i hear cool that's what i've been hearing you know i don't know i'm not that i'm not a guy guy yet but uh that's yeah what i've been here yeah that's what i like to hear yeah um i did get another set I, I wasn't paying attention. This is the Master Grade Origins decal set. I don't have the Master Grade. I don't build Master Grades. So, Coop was like, maybe you need to get a, maybe you just need to get the Master Grade. I was like, ah. So, that might be down the road. I'm going to hold on to these because uh, I hear the Master Grade is the, the best granddaddy version. So Yeah, might be the one of the I best, like if not the best Master Grade out. They know yeah, that, I mean, though, not, I think. I think they, they know, know it? that. I think Bandai knows that. That's why they haven't gave us a Zaku. I think that Zaku Two Origins will destroy. Really? It will collapse. Like it, it would blow up the internet. I'd, I'd have four of them. I promise you. I'd because with the, I'm sorry to cut you off with your orders or what you got no, in. Please, please. But the OG uh, Granddaddy has so many master grades. To where if somebody wants a different flavor, and it's almost like how we talked about with P Bandai and these little ex accessories, right. right? Like the 2.0 is the only one you get with the javelin. Was it right. the javelin or was it 1.5? The 1.5. The 1.5. The ja the, yeah. The so it kind of forces you to get that one. The one that's at Hobby Town now, and it's been at like Hobby Lobby, that one has like, um, that master grade you're a lot like it has um what's it like the armor opens up so like the back of the cabs panels. and stuff like panels yeah. and stuff like oh i feel like if they do shard zaku 2 in the origins master grade nobody will buy the original master grade anymore it's done bro it's, it's it'd be cooked done. it'd be done. the original master grade has been restocked or the, the 2.0 shard has been restocking so i've been seeing them i'm like i might grab one for a resin kit it's, it's, it's a good kit it's a good kit yeah. i like it and with the shark kits for some reason i don't know why xeon kits shark kits in particular they come with like extra like i like that like they, i think like yeah. the galgu master grade come with the car lala and char crazy right and then you get the zaku comes with the little hanger well not like the little ladder that you could put yep. right beside it and you, man that's that's tough that's again another dope idea did this come with the core fighter no, that makes it beautiful. That's another thing. There's there's a the 3.0, 3.0 core got fighter. The core fighter. Yeah, and that's no core yeah. fighter, which I enjoy. I don't. I haven't. I am in the process of building a core fighter, but I never built a core fighter before. Before right. this process, I, and, I built a granddaddy, no core fighter either. So like, but that that master grade, you got to get your hands on, dog. You won't go back. You won't go back. I won't go back. You, nah, man. I'm scared, dog. Master Grade gives me anxiety. Speaking of Master Grade, so I had ordered a uh, Freedom 2.0, got it in, mm -hmm. popped the box on it. I said, damn, this is a lot of runners, dog. So you know what I did? I gifted it. I gifted it to my nephew because I'm not ready for a Master Grade, dog. I'm not ready for a Master Grade. Go light. And, uh, go so light. Well, listen like to I said, me. I got, Origins. I, I, I'm going to go light. I'm going to go light because I'm not ready for a full-ass Master Grade. And I think I'm in between like you know i'm ready for something a little more challenging than the high grade so i went and got something 
I wouldn't got something. I'm going to say this is my next Project 23. It's not a master grade. It's not a high grade. It's a real grade. No, it's the master grade SD. So I remember talking to you. You know, I was like, I'm not getting this crap. I'm not getting this crap. I'm not getting this crap. I got it. New type. New type dropped it maybe two and a half weeks ago. I sat there and seen it, and I was like, I'm going to get it. I'm not going to tell the fellas I'm going to get it. I'm going to drop it on the pot. So here it is. Oh, my mm. God, dog. The I open box the box are still. There's still hella runners. But oh, I bet it is. That's the box. Is that, that's the size of a um, Gundam Wing Master Grade box, right? Uh, size of, like the, this. of a DAR, actually. The, of uh, a DAR box? 100. Yeah, 1-100. Yeah. Calamity. But, uh, man, just... Look at this, dog. So, the eye sold me, man. I just need. I, I, sorry I, for I, the, the people, oh my god! Bro. Sorry for the people on Spotify that can't see this. Still, it's a good amount of runners. Yeah, but this looks dope. I've been seeing it go it across the web. Just the the detail in the head, the lining. Yeah. Like, oh my god! The eyes, right? Coop, the eyes, the eyes alone were like. They need to so, make every gun them with that those eye sets. Right, get this to the master grades, but you know, I was like, I, I want to get into a master grade soon, so I figured, you know, this would be a good step. SDMG master grade detail, not the same size, probably less, maybe the same, same amount of parts, but who knows? I'm fooling myself because it says SD, so I just assumed it was, yeah, as big. but I'm excited for this. This is going to be the next thing I'm working on, Project 23, Ooh. and of course, it's not getting the same colorway. Ah, you paint's on its way. Go ahead. That's a surprise too, then, huh? Yeah, that's a surprise too. Then we got we got our IPMS coming up here in April, man. So I know you gotta some keep guys everything to the chest. Yeah, you got to keep hold to your cards to the, the chest. To the, to the, to the, to I'll, I'll tell you after this, but uh, just know it's some. It's gonna be a little spicy. It's gonna mm -hmm. be a repaint. It's not a it's not a, a CD color scheme. It's something that's already out there in the seed universe. So I'll just give you that hint. And then uh, I think deactivated mode. He's going deactivated hey. mode, people. Hey, I, I haven't seen go. on IG yet. And then lastly, I had to get some more manga. The Witch and the Beast. This is book 10, just dropped on Amazon. I don't know when book 11 is coming out. Uh, usually, like, will give me a date, but this one didn't. But uh, if you guys haven't read it, this is it right here. Please check it out. It's getting an anime soon, so Coop, I know you might not, you might wait till the anime. I'm sure it's getting dubbed, but yes. you can't wait. I mean, what's the name of it? The Witch and the Beast. The Witch and the Beast. Hmm. Maybe fighting in here. I'm gonna have to check it out. I'm gonna have to check it out. But that's it, man. These are those are my pickups. I got some more stuff coming, so tune in next time, next week. I, I promise. I might, I might have doubled. <laughs> Doubled on what I got, but yeah, the MGSD man, it's here Ooh, and it's coming for you. The first person out of the group, I would have honestly thought it was Austin, but CD, hey, fold first it. one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I saw it in person at ODO, and it looks amazing. Right. So, it's, it's tough. people, make sure you follow on CD. I'm pretty nah. I, I don't think he. You going? That's going to be IPMS ready. IPMS is April 29th. Um, it should be PMS, IPMS ready. The paint should be here Tuesday or Wednesday, and I plan to have it clipped oh, up on Friday. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. IPMS ready. I love it. Comment down below, people, what y'all picked up. Anything new y'all got into your backlog? What are y'all taking out? Um, what are you, figures, manga, DVDs, Blu-rays, video games, whatever. Uh, let us know in the comments below, and we'll answer them in one day we'll put some comments up here see what see what some people got in but next up is what's cooking right like what we have on kind of cooking on the table me like i said i haven't ever built a core fighter until this moment i'll be all right i broke out and started on the gpo full burner real great yes. and i'm yes. start, starting it as in i have never scribe never dug out panel lines anything like that so i broke it out and i broke out the gritter as well the gritter pin from gun primer helps you dig out panel lines 
and if you want to scribe that you that you could do that as well um but it's challenging not in a way so it's how, tedious how do you like that process so far yeah you feel like it's, it's tedious it's, it's, it's tedious. for sure that's all that's all it is like once you realize you gotta be even you gotta tell yourself okay this piece you it's like my eyes just snap straight to like oh man look at the panel out on this shield it looks amazing but not i'm looking at one maybe two specific panel lines that make me think oh that's amazing and kind of glossing over the rest of the panels in there so i'm like yep. i get pan i get to go and i finish those two panel lines I'm like damn i still got another three four or more panels side. to go <laughs> yeah four more panels to go but um it's fun can't wait for to finish that up and knock out that experience get that kit painted that got some um paint figured out for it and as well i also like i said uh started a um airbrush again on the day i got into the accident uh, what i was working on was i started to um prime the pieces for the master grade exia i know everybody that follows the page sees that the master grade exia is my first project 23 kit have everything for it everything all the paints here everything's ready to go but one maybe two things and i'm gonna i want to save that i want to save that's something else i want to work on to make it a little bit different that's where my imagination comes and kicks in but um that's it that's it um i'm gonna try to maybe work on some photos if i could pose these figures up since these two gamma figures are like aliens i want to see how they look with ultraman 2 um not not just like yeah the alien look so not just um that's my challenge to you dog since you can't really get in the booth go out there and take some shots yeah, i'm gonna try need. to dog we need to see more of these coop shots like, yeah coop the spike lee yeah i want to for it there i want to try to i was just looking around even just some of these kits and figures that i already have painted like i've been dying to take a, a, a photo of this guy yes like i've been i've been dying to take a photo of him so i just got to figure out what's it's a good that shar zaku one too from oh yes yeah. shar zaku one fully painted um i took photos on my instagram a long time ago i don't think i obviously i didn't do it real real good justice when it comes to what I've learned so far. So but maybe take this guy outside and I really do like this scheme, this paint scheme I did. Yeah, that, a, real, that that wine and that red just kind of hits yeah. me. And you and you still yeah. get the the char from it too. So mm-hmm. So I'm gonna take some outside, take some of these uh kits and figures outside and be able to take some shots so that's what i have cooking right now the master grade exia the gpo one where i'm scribing and some f- toy photography shots did you finish that and, last girl kid already too no i am currently still working on clipping out her backpack and as well another thing i'm working on is my project 23 long project is the banshee the perfect great banshee's yes. broken out I clip the head out, gonna clip out the body, and got some advice. Got some advice. Uh, my boy C N from Hobby Town told he built it, painted it, rattle canned it. Shout out to him for doing that. But he told me built the frame, then put the armor on. So right now the frame is my main priority because of the wiring and stuff like that for the lights. And it's getting a paint job, the frame too? The frame, the whole thing. Whole kid's getting a paint job. Whole that's kid. Nuts, dog. Yeah. That's I'll, a trophy have, in itself. Yeah. I have the unicorn as well. And I don't think I'm going to put the lights in the unicorn. I think you got to do the, the perfect grade, the master grade, the real grade, and the high grade, dog. I think this one is going to be. This one. See, that's yeah. It. I mean, outside of the high grades, what I wanted to do is. Maybe stop at the tap, RG. The tapestry, right? Like, I want to take both all three because i have the Debon phoenix but i want to take at least the pg 
of the unicorn and the banshee and get a shelf and put them like eye level on the opposite sides of a door once I get like the man mm-hmm. cave squared away and then put the put them in glass containers and have them on a knee almost like the tapestry where like the, yep. the unicorn and the black lion so when you walk in or walk out of the room I'm probably gonna do it when you walk out so it's not like in a hallway but when you walk out of the door you can see the banshee the unicorn to the left and maybe the phoenix above we'll see how that goes but the phoenix on we'll, we'll, yeah Tough. yeah yeah we'll see how it goes um but that's that's my idea for those that's my idea for those speaking of detolf dog on that last episode i did not realize they jumped up that much dog dog detolf went from 60 to 129 that's disgusting 129 that is and they're barely in stock right right what you been working on bro man you got the uh, well everything going on at the crib i'm I'm almost there man i I cleared up enough space where i can get back to the gm looks like he's done but trust me it's not um the guns are are just primed black and the backpack has no decals and it hasn't been top coated so uh, once everything's squared back away i want to get back to that um i still need to do a couple more colors on there on the backpack you know this is i feel like this is my best build so far so i don't want to just half-ass it like I can say it's done. Prime the prime the backpack and be good. But you know why not? This is the whole point of Project Twenty Three, finishing out yeah. the kit. For the people that didn't know, like most a year ago, I might post some work, bro. But there would be nothing on the back. There's no decals, no panel line. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. And I've, like, <laughs> and that's I've that's fine. IT. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that and people do it all the time. Can't tell. I don't want to believe anybody that people do it all the time. I've done it. I think I did it on right. the moon. I don't think I put the like, decals on the back of the moon. I, I'm practicing posing with it. So, all right. So, this shoulder's not short. Right, let me put a decal right here. But mm. the rest. But now, my, you know, I'm already here. I'm already decaling. Let me just finish it up. So, finish the backpack, finish that. And then, um, like I said, man, Master Grade SD. I got a new set of um, balancers. I got some more, um, s- some scribing stuff coming in that I want to try out. So, I'm, I'm really going to try to put my foot into this one. I'm Got really you one of these foot. coming in too. Hey, I need it because I'm out here breaking pieces off left and right. So I, I need it. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Got to have we, we gotta help out. Comment below, people, what y'all been working on, what y'all have on the table. I see some a lot of dope builds. A lot of people getting on these aerials, getting on these Witch for Mercury kits. And I'm just looking yeah. tough. I think it's your turn too, Coop. I think it's your turn. I just need. I, hey, I'm just waiting for the G reworks to pop up. I order the G reworks and it'll get there. And I appreciate you sending the aerial out this way. Hey, the G reworks makes you want to build any kit they got, bro. I right? Some stuff I never built, and I said, "Oh, G reworks got it." Do I this might cold. have to build this Z guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Mm. Nah. Uh, well, you know what? That guy. Chat. That guy. Mm. <laughs> you, you, you you won me over with the gel goo, but I don't. Know. Hey. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dog. Is he got that guy? I don't know if I can rock with amphibious kids. I can. I don't. I don't think I can rock with. Maybe the at guy from Thunderbolts. Mm. No, no, no. You know you don't even like that one. Stop it. Nah, <laughs> it looks do- it looks dope. The head divisor. Right. But nah. Next up, we have what's new it's kind of things that might be popping out in the Gundam community. We get our information from Gunpla, um, Gunpla Bandai. We're gonna pull it up right here, so everybody can see what's got, what we have going on, or what they have going on. I'm pretty sure that. Um, Give me one moment. Some, some uh, thirty-minute mission stuff. A lot of thirty-minute mission stuff. I think came out. Recently. Yeah, some thirty-minute mission stuff. Some, I want to say, a whole lot more Witch from Mercury stuff. So, yes, second season on its way. Trailer is out now. Coop, I don't know if you got a chance to watch it yet. No, I have not. I have not. Maybe pull it up here. Maybe we'll see. My uh, reaction. Rea- My yeah. reaction to it. Yeah, we'll might see. as well. It's only it's quick, two minutes. 
it's a quick two minutes all right i got yeah. you we'll do a live reaction to it but we have up first let's see last week austin and i left off here with the uh, figures next up for the what's new we have the mark two from i don't have about hugh yeah huckman uh, huckman <laughs> right. huckman huckbine mark two this is from um ah, it's a video game that's a video game yeah. i think um what's the name of the video game super robot wars i think is this yep. super robot yep. wars exactly uh, it looks literally looks like a gun yeah it does uh, i know uh marvin shout out to him at hobby town he builds the super robot wars he keeps me in the loop about the these kits and stuff. there's a, an sd version out too of it already there's a couple of dope kits from this um i kind of like this i'm not gonna lie to you I it like does this. look I pretty get, dope i might slap a gundam head on it and get it i mean it, that's a close that's a close gundam head bro that's a close gun to me. You don't think so? Might as well be. Yeah, might as well be. Yeah, I, might as well be. I don't know why. I, I keep picturing like a wing zero head on there. Yeah. It almost looks like the wing zero with the. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to cop it. I'm not trying to get into this line. I don't know much it's about like the articulation. Yeah, it yeah, it's like 50 bucks. It comes with yeah. a lot, though. Definitely. It does look like wing zero. Now that I look That's at it. That's a Gundam. That's a Gundam. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and the Mark II colorway looks dope. Right. Shout out to my guy Quentin as well. He's been catching up. He been, he told me at uh, Holly Town, we just got a little. He said he doesn't like the Mark II colorway. He doesn't like what? the colors of the Mark II. The colors of the, the Titans blue is nuts. Oh, I was gonna say right. Come on, man. So he likes the uh, white version. I don't know if AU, he likes the exactly. Yeah, I think he likes the AU, but he, he told me the other day he not, he's not a big he finds it grotesque. Wow. Yeah. That's harsh for <laughs> colorway. We have a couple more of these. Um, oh my god, bro. This this is aim still aim? going on. Yeah, I know. I know. The borderline, bro. Like this is the type G. There literally might be A through G of these versions too, dog. I have the original Brady Hound over here. And yeah, uh, I'm never not a big fan of them. I have it's the a cool build. Truck. They, they look like a, like just grunt suits, like typical like definition of mech. Suits, yeah, but I don't think we need eleven of these. Though. There's literally like there might be A through G worth Brady. And we have the uh, weapon set, warrior at the border weapon set. So more of the kits, not of the suits in, in general. Just a weapon set. So it looks like a they just, shield. They just a showed you seven Brady Hounds right there. So we have two grapple hooks that look like they could probably go on the shoulder. Um, a shield, two, two katanas, yeah, a gun. It looks like something for the legs. So uh, I don't again, even know if this show got another season. Like I feel like this show's been hasn't been on TV for like six months now. Like they're still pumping out these kids. <sighs> And they're always on clearance. My hobby town has always on clearance. So I don't know how I get that. Bad Night's throwing money out to, to the water, I guess. And then we have the Matt P. Bandai Master Grade Mission Pack P, as in Papa, type for the F90. Mm, no. no. It, it, no. This looks it's like a true down. definition. Yeah, this looks like a true <laughs> definition of a mech. Like, you could put this in that deck on video game. Literally. And, and like they're they're going it. to hit Z. They're, yeah, they're going A through Z. Oh my God! Some of them are this too look, too dark. Like this is look like you hit L one, L one and triangle, and it'll just turn into this <laughs> midway through the fight. You know, like boom. right. And you can shoot for a little bit, and then you just transform back to this guy. You know, it looks just, more of a transformer, dog. Like, yeah. OG Star Robotech. Yeah. Oh my God. I I wonder. Hey. I know Austin's not a big fan. I don't think so. I don't think Austin. Especially think so. uh, this, this, the flight form of it. You know, Austin hates how it just lays down. Like, yeah. Let's 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 have fun. People in the comments that comment and know Austin has been watching the videos. Y'all think he's gonna pick this up? Yay or nay? Yay or nay? He's yeah, a big nay. fan. Of, he's a big fan of these like kids that could transform. He loves transforming kids. I just don't think yeah. this is the one for him. I don't think so either. 
but we never know. Right. Austin told me last week he'd never watched Rocky, so he just never. I heard you know. that. I said, I know, man. We're not going to hey. speak on it. We love our brother, though. Next right. up is the Yu Gi Oh! Figure Eye Standard Amplified of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I like the Amplified kits of from like Digimon and I don't think they did yes. the Pokemon Amplified. But I had that Amplified War, uh, War Greymon is, War Greymon. Nuts. is yeah. nuts. Tough. The amplifiers are pretty. I might pick this up. I might pick. You see, these say plus fifteen on the box because they're really expecting like. I don't know if because of sharp yeah. edges or what, but it has to be because of the sharp edges. Those, I mean, this it looks pretty was, big. Too, like, yeah, I think this was some. Like, if you have a few of these, right here, this is yes, your toy you took, you took it right out of the mouth. If you had a few of these, like three of them, paint them different colors, you could do like a Monster Hunter theme. Right. You know, just any type of mystic show you want to relive. I'll probably pick this up. Mm, that blue, it's, it's, I don't know if I'll paint it because I would have to paint it almost maybe a blue underneath a uh, white mm -hmm. pearl. Yes. Like so white prime white are you is this a grab blue. then this might be a grab this might be a grab big Yu Gi Oh fan back in the day or what oh yeah heavy Yu Gi Oh fan back in the day i think i stopped after season two because then i transitioned into like you football. have the duel chill chill yeah i did yeah i did <laughs> i did i got it from toys r us i thought i was gonna be the man too because I'll never forget it. Like <clears throat> my boy Court stayed the night at my crib. And my mom was like, after we go get breakfast, we'll go to Toys R Us and go get it. And we went to Toys R Us and go and I grabbed it. And then my boy Carl came over. He knocked on the door and he had his shit. Like, <laughs> he like, thought like, was a man too. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be the first one with it. Like he came, knocked on the door same day and was like, Yo, I got my dual disc. And I'm gonna show you my dual disc. And I'm like, Well, I got mine. Uh, how about that? <laughs> right. What you saying? Like, we good. But yeah, big Yu Gi Oh fan back in the day. That was a big set of Kaiba fan back in the day. So the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. But, I loved um, Yu Gi Oh, dog. Yeah, that my mom got game. tired of seeing the cards. My mom got tired of seeing the cards. Right. I was scattered around. Did your 7 Eleven sell Yu Gi Oh cards? I used to stop. Yeah. 7 Eleven, yeah. Target. No, 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 no. I need some Yu Gi Oh cards. Four dollars. Yeah, yep. right. <laughs> Four dollars. I remember my boy Carl finesse at Target. When people when like I don't know if Target employees back then just knew, but he used to grab like the box that the booster packs came in and br grab the whole box, like an unopened box. And when they scanned it, it was scan the price of the of booster one? pack. Of one booster pack. So he got a he got a box for like $3.99. Jesus, that, and he always like yo grab the ones from the back. Yeah, that's that's a smooth <laughs> that's, finesse. That's the James Harden Euro dogs. Yeah, back. but Jeez. I'll probably pick this up. It, it does look dope. I think again with a with a good paint job, it could in a good gloss. It, it could look amazing. I mean, it looks amazing right out of the box too. Bro, but it looks tough. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what um I want to see the sticker sheet. I think that. The what eyes, maybe. Uh, no, those might not be, be see through. Those. Yeah, I yeah. Was gonna say, those are gonna only be, thing uh, I think of is maybe the claws. The the claws might like this might be white. That bone, like we'll see, we'll see. I, but I am probably gonna pick this up. Next is this up, your favorite we card? have blue eyes, white dragon. Yeah, one of them. I think so. The original one, like that's how the, I could go. Like the original one that was in the video, I mean a TV show. Then they started like changing up the styles and stuff. Like got the head twisted on one of the cards. Right. I needed Another that Joey one. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yeah, yeah. I needed that. Once they dropped like the the starter deck for Joey, I was like, oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, right. Hey, like Joey was my thing. guy. I don't know why. No, Joey was my guy. <laughs> Next up, we have these um, collapsible capsule action series. I thought I said collapsible. I think this is that one that I don't know. It's a Zaku 2, a traditional green Zaku 2. That's in a collapsible or capsule. I keep saying collapsible. Yeah, the little ball. 
I think I've seen these at Target. It's a no go for me. But yeah, I do nice. get the G frames. The G frames are pretty dope. The, not the G detail frame. on them, G, G frames. Yeah, yeah, the G, G frames. frames. The track. I have one right here. And just to get like, the, if you get, yeah, you get a few of these, you could practice on scribing, practice on painting, and have these as like background. Besides buying a yeah. whole kit, I have the white one. Chloe took it somewhere. It might even be over there. Matter of fact, but I like those. The, the E free, E free is tough. Oh yeah, they, they do got an E free one. Yeah, E free is tough. I have the size of E. Shout out to Austin. But Mark um, two? I got yeah, like three Mark twos. I got like three Mark twos. You got the whole yeah, three. Yeah, AOZ I, over there. Yeah. Next up, speaking of some AOZ. Right? This is Austin's yeah, lane. A, Austin. Austin's bag. I'm sorry, bro. I know you would speak on it, but I know he's going to go crazy when this comes out. Um, right, it is the color. P Bandai high grade of the Aqua Har- Hammer, Harambe. Ham- Harambe. My bad, Austin. It's the red. Right. And the, is it just the, is it just this? Yep. No suit. It's just that. Because this is the what is it? Wood? Woonwort. Woon. Yeah, Woonwort. So the blue one is the same. The other one. So the yeah, blue one same. is just like this too. Okay. Yep. I'm not copping. I don't know much of it. I know Austin's probably going to cop because he's AOZ through and through. So you copping? He's, he's getting... Oh no. I, I have no idea what this is. I don't really like the Barzam. And I don't really like the wound work like that. So, I mean, by itself, I don't like it. Nah. I'll buy one for Austin. But <laughs> yeah, if he misses out on it. If he needs yeah, extra, we'll sit there. We got you. Yeah, but, uh, uh, this is know. the blue one. That's on the bars. Man. Yeah. Uh, People okay. were going crazy for this. Like, like when they announced it, they're like, oh, my God. I could. Like, where did they even get this from? I've never yeah, even seen it? a picture. Next up, though, we do have the Barzam, both red and blue reboot, AOZ reboot. Now, this I might get behind. That Titans one is kind of nuts, yo. The Titans one's tough. I, I, I gotta stop playing, man. Ever since you sent me that uh, third party upgrade kit for the real grade, like I've been looking at it. Mm. I gotta get on it. Barzan has been growing on me for sure, especially the reboot version because the other one looks yeah. like funny looking. This the other one one's like the hard angle. The, yeah, the hard angle. This is like the it'll be the real grade of the other one. Yeah, the other one looks like a, like a, a kid inside it. Yeah, um, the hills. So something probably, about the hills too. I probably cop this. I might mess around and cop both. Like, why not? If it's going for twenty four, twenty five bucks, yeah, that's not bad. Might as well. Might as well. Next up. It's a 30. What is this? <laughs> it's a 30 minute mission. Looks like a chain set that you yeah, can, bro. you can, you can, I mean, it looks dope. I might cop now that I look at it. I might cop. I like how I it's like, wrapped around the sword. You took that, that one right out of my mouth. That's tough. <laughs> wrapped around That's the sword tough. is tough. That reminds me of some berserk type. Look at the thing on the top, it. dog. I don't know what well, he's doing. Just, That's a claw machine. Yeah. That's a claw machine. You put a quarter in, he'll right. he'll get you a stuffy. You know what I'm saying? But oh, the one with the God. chain wrapped around definitely give me some IBO feels. Do that Ooh, with a barber right. 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 Around the mace or something? Nice. Around the mace? That'd be tough. Yeah, um, I might cop this. I might cop this and do this. Do this. You know, Only thing about chain link. yeah, true. Only thing about this though is, do they? I was looking at a weapon pack, assault or rifle weapon pack, thirty minute missions got, but they all got that peg hole right dead all in the over. middle of the weapon. Yeah, oh, yeah, like come on, man. I can't. And it was like, oh, they do it. How about oh, just put some putty in it and no i don't want to do it. all that yeah i'm not all trying that to do work. all that there's there's still in like little hole covers too that like it's not gonna be in a separate pack to cover the actual holes on the 30 minute missions kits i gotta i i think it's in storage but i know i have a weapon pack from 
done them from P Bandai that I could break yeah. out. So speaking, that's a good idea. I might have to go fish that out for one of these. Um, go into your own personal hobby town you have in storage. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Next up, we have uh mobile suit assemble ex series double o with the g in arms so it's a double o riser no this gundam like from the... gundam double o this is the axia with the g in arms the okay one. all right so it looks dope if i find it i might cop it the little desk yeah. trinket it depends on the price here we go we have p bandai high grade what's your mercury out right here Gundam Ariel, the permit score six. So I'm assuming this is like a blue. This is when she wasn't this is um, she's finding her prologue. Was it the frack? D- didn't they get in the show the blue in, in the, the prologue, prologue too? Yeah. Every everyone but uh, the main character. I'm blanking on her name too. Has to go when they're in their Gundams. They do this. Except for yeah, her. I'm just trying to figure out why she why she doesn't have to do all the extra. Um, mm. if it's just a different sticker sheet yes. or pieces, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. It's a pass for me. I could I could paint this into it, but this. Come on, <laughs> talk to me. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> talk to me. Hey, hey. The box art for the full mechanics, which from Mercury set, looks amazing. I like how I like what Gundam is doing. I mean, like Bandai's doing. Like, like for the people at home, real quick, CD, pull out the MGSD box again. You got it right there. It's almost like they doing like a like the sun to the left or right. Like it has a picture of a sun and face to the colorway. And then the, I hope they do this with all the kids from here. This point out this right. style. It's because this box art is doing it. I've always seen a lot of people like fan renders making their own images. And yeah, I feel like Dan and I kind of like tuned in. Like, all right, these guys they, they kind of know what they're doing. Man. Forty-one hundred yen, so forty-five bucks. Hey, for a full mechanic. I, I said I was gonna cop it just cause, just cause, and I'm still. I know I'm going to off my word that master grades are you know far more superior, but until we get the master grade, I will have this. What about and you? you going to do this? Uh, I don't know. Just because y'all know me, I'm not really a big witch for Mercury. If this was a series that I bang with, then absolutely I would be copying it because you can see the panel line, you can see the scribing done, you can see the decals come, coming in. You know G Reverse gonna drop the decals for it. And you're gonna be like, Crazy. oh, that looks amazing. What is that? On 100 full mechanics. How much for 45? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Cause you know it's gonna be 60 for the people, oh for the uh, massacre. Yeah, it's gonna be 60. At least. It's gonna be 60. So this does look dope. I don't know if I want to cop it, um, but you know me, man. The full mechanics, I'm messing around. I'm like, oh man, I really, I'm not trying to miss out again, because hey. I felt like that with IBO. And we know what happens when we miss out. We have to pay double the price. Yeah. Here is some more glam shots of the aerial permit score six from. I don't know yeah. this photo is in the I don't know where this the source came from, but it looks like just built just uh, different built kit. Stickers. Yeah, just different color stickers. It looks a little bit longer, but that's just me. I don't know. Yeah, the proportions do look a little different on that. But if you guys can paint or even get some paint markers, you could you could change the color yeah. of the gradient. Shout yeah. out to Han Jumple. He he painted his own gradient on the shoulders because he didn't want to use it. Amazing and stickers, and he went nuts on it. So shout out to yeah, shout out to him. And then last, oh, some more Witch for Mercury news for my action figure guys out there. Hey, my Gundam guys, man, go cop yeah. one. Go cop one of these robot spirits. It's from Witch for Mercury, the Aerial, it's the anime action new image, imagination memory edition, second season rebuild Aerial. Is that what that is? Looks like it. With the backpack, rebuild. Oh, yep. So rebuild. Yep. So they're coming out with um the figure. 
get this people the take toy shots so you don't have to worry about scraping up a good painted kit a well painted right. kit so you don't have to worry ain't about nothing about it. hearing the k- mm. and seeing the paint come off you just or seeing that, that motherfucker go like this just st- standing there and just do uh. fall forward <laughs> ah. and you on concrete ah. oh my god that's sick my heart exactly. my heart goes out just thinking about it but that's all we have a lot a lot of good news from um the bandai community so i'm excited man i'm ready for yeah, that, i am uh, too that film. i can't believe i'm saying it but uh yeah i'm excited for it maybe this, maybe this will change my mind and be like you know what coop was right. right i can watch it will I, be. I can. it will it will it will in about two months that's what time to get over here exactly um next up we have hold that thought we're gonna take a step away from gundams and get into some kind of like real life news nothing too crazy going on um oh i wanted to get your take how you feel dog this whole john Morant situation you're a basketball guy (sighs) man i feel Parts of me feel like they're piling on. Um, parts of me feel like you know he he knows he should know better. He um, should, right? He, sh- he should know better. I don't know, you know, what he has going on in his personal life. Paul Pierce says, "Hey, you know, like I got stabbed, I carry a gun. Cool, understandable." But Paul Pierce is also not the guy in the club going like this with the gun. Yeah, and for people um, that don't know, we're talking about John Morant. He's the All Star, could be face of the franchise. Of the, I mean, face of the NBA really for the point guard for the memphis grizzlies he was suspended indefinitely i think suspended indefinitely for waving a firearm yeah firearm on instagram live and people have been having kind of like a like i want to say confusion because this guy comes from a humble humble background but he wants to act tough and gangster and private school mom and dad in his life i mean like i said i don't, I don't we don't know what's going on in his life friend but like that's in my head when i seen that ha, bro i think it's the money bag yo little baby nba young boy like he's young, he's you. be, oh my god bro like john moran you have it i've seen today that uh there's a deal with pirate and they're starting to distance themselves i'm like man like you just got you have one of the most popular shoes it hasn't even released yet and now like nike lost Kyrie, and they're looking at you like damn like Mm-hmm. I saw some pictures of um he it looked like he threw like a hundred K in a strip club. In the strip club? Yeah, and then he got the stripper going, it looked like going crazy. That's that's foul on the strip club's part too, dog. Like how many so guys keep- are in Yeah, oh you that's foul. That's that's piling on. I don't I don't respect that because you know how many athletes are in the club going nuts and no pictures ever come out. I've never seen that yeah. an athlete in- and for John Morant to be in that section, dog, you couldn't see the floor. You can't, yeah. Or the couch. Or, or the, the couch. <laughs> no living room. He ain't got no living room in it. Come on now. Bro, should, Need some space. I, I zoomed in. I said, oh my God. He threw a that's a contract. A hundred thousand dollars. That's 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 somebody's yearly income on the floor. In ones. Sickness. So sick. all these people out here. John Morant, man. I I wish I wish you the best man because like you're, yeah, you're a talent do. to watch but yeah this this is unacceptable this is, this is it could be the second coming of ai second coming out just, just go dunk on somebody out. bro damn <laughs> that's i don't it. know if he needs better people in his his corner too i don't know that just tells you he needs better is. people yeah that tells yeah, you he needs better people in his corner for how he got that's the gun it. in the club somebody should have stepped in Right. Somebody should have stepped in and said something, but this neither here nor there at this point. Yeah, I mean at at this point it's crazy. Um then we also got some on the NFL front, the Baltimore Ravens disrespected the homie Lamar. Hey bro. Lamar Jackson was yeah. So Lamar Jackson people, quarterback, face of the franchise. Could be the face of the NFL for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, former MVP. Athlete. Former MVP is second year in the league. 
former MVP is second year in the Same league. age as Stetson Bennett, or might even be younger, who's Georgia's starting quarterback who just won the national championship, is older than Lamar Jackson. Yeah. He was given the franchise tag, the non-exclusive franchise tag, because the Baltimore Ravens does do not want to pay guaranteed money. It's a slap in his face, man. Slap. That's... Daniel Jones just got four years, 160 million. Quick math, what is that like? 40 million a year. 40 and Lamar's million one year. year deal is 32 million dollars. That that says a lot right there. You're willing to pay Daniel Jones. You know how many touchdowns Daniel Jones got last year? Take a guess. Passing touchdowns. Wasn't well, it like 16? 15? 15? I knew. 16. I think they said besides his rookie year, he, Daniel Jones, has not, and this is the quarterback for the Giants, has not thrown as many touchdowns as games played in that season so it's like second Crazy. year he only played like 10 games he only threw like eight touchdowns his third year only played 15 games through 13 touchdowns it was some off the wall stat uh, and he ran for seven cool but we're, we're paying you to throw the ball and, yeah. then, and then they franchise tag Sha- saquon for 10 million yeah then on the news front today, Jalen Ramsey's gone down to Miami. I don't know where Miami's getting all this that damn capital from. Bro, gave him twenty-five million dollars too, extra. Here, hold this. So hold on, they sh- sent the house for Tyreek Hill, and whatever had and whatever they had left, they went and grabbed Bradley Chubb, and somehow finagle hey, Bra- Jalen Ramsey. It's, it's cash over cap. If you get a rich owner, they can. They can finesse the cap some type of way. So these teams with poor, poor markets, I feel sorry for y'all. But if your t- if your owner got some bread, cash over cap. With mm. the Rams, he said f them picks. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I don't blame <laughs> them. When now? Hey, when, when now? now? But this is exciting, man. This is where I really get get like my GM juices flowing during the off season in the NFL because I'm on. Right. I mean, Kimberly gets frustrated because I'm on NFL Network. The radio, serious radio, channel eighty eight, right. all day. Listen it in, listen it in all day, every day. New like, league's year starts in three days, man. March fifteenth. Yep. I just update right now. Four eight niners bringing back to Sean Gibson safety. So hey, it's, yeah, it's starting yeah. already. OBJ had a workout. He's looking. They said he yeah. looks like he's bigger, faster, and stronger. He does he look. Was, he, so. he does look swole. I'll give him that. He does. He yeah. does look cock diesel. I'll give him that shit. Adam Thielen got released. Like, oh my God. Like, there's there's some big yeah. names in the market. Chicago Bears traded their pick out to the Carolina Panthers. So the Carolina sitting at number one. Right. I don't what know. do you think of that trade? I think that was a nice trade. That was, That's a that was a money ball trade. That was a lot. The, they gave the up. Bears a lot. fleeced them. Bears yeah. fleeced them. They gave and up. Carolina a lot. doesn't have that team, bro. Like, it's nice, but like they're not gonna be good. No. Not enough. Still. Unless they go get Thielen. Right, I, throw, throw the house. Because you bring in Bryce one. Young with nobody. Whew. Yeah, you get up the farm. I thought the 49ers trading away all that for Trey Lance. At least we have a team like who can compete. But like Carolina, no, they have nothing. Yeah, have nothing. Mm. no CMC, no DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson. That's all they had. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's yeah, all they had. But, Robbie Anderson got cut, so he might be able to come back. <laughs> Maybe he changed his name too. Yeah, before he changed his name to Hope Anderson or something. Pay me, that's Anderson. <laughs> Fool. But that's it for hold that thoughts. Man, NFL is never over. I love it. I love it. Love it. I love sports, dog. And it's March Madness. Mm. Mm. Speaking of March Madness, we got something for you guys that's coming too. Yeah. Stay. T- stand by. Stand by. Next up, we're gonna do Creative Corner. It's been a while. No, we did one last week. Yeah, for one for the women, Austin and I. Um, I'll go ahead and go first. I'll go first. Let me pull him up. He is a dope toy photographer, and I've dealt with him before buying figures and stuff. And it is the homie Seven Nine Six Studios on Instagram. Definitely should have. I know it says seven thousand followers, 
it's not enough. It's, enough. it's not enough. We go off of like the quality of work compared to like others. Like this dude. F- Does he have his own fig? Like that. F- the fig that I think so. Nice. I think he three D. I think he three D printed. We'll it go through nuts. it. Nuts. But it does look crazy. When you feel the emotion in the shot, dog, and it's and it's a fig, like you know, like this right, right here, like the it's, dirt on the sidewalk, bro. The, the motorcycle extras on a motorcycle. Oof, the hand paint on a motorcycle is. He's a sick toy photographer. Um, he does crazy dials with the pink phone. Right. Crazy dials. Um, and it's everything. I'm not going to say simple because it's it's not. Because so look at punch this the wall. Beam. Bro, like, punch through the beam with the effects on it. Like, look at that. So he does everything that, kind of. That's a toy photographer. Is. Oh, my God. Like, yes. He does like everything in scale. Here you go. Like, come on with the Carmen Rider. Come Can you on, dog. The concrete? <sighs> just imagine with with your imagination. Right. Just imagination. Just imagine. Exactly. Exactly. And again, this is just he does all type of toy photography, mainly on the anime side though. But he has some older shots, like some GMs, hey. robots. I think these are robot spirit robot shots. Spirits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks crazy. Um, Zaku with a GM. I be trying to not- pose my kits like this, dog. It just my head don't. It just doesn't look right to me. So you know, I'm back to my static. But this looks That's amazing. So- the kaboom. Yeah, and this is all. This is just a snap together. I think this. What he told me. Yeah, this is the origins kit. With the um decal, yeah, with just a regular stick of decals, looks crazy. And this, just like the, like you said, the feeling. You get the emotion. That's it. In this. We're not asking people to go crazy with the kits, but this is I feel like well round. This is where I want to definitely get to, right? Because this is like, like the, the picture of the soldier holding on the gun. Like I felt tired looking at him because he looked like he was tired. Right. Right, like I like damn. He had a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, boy. Look worn out. <laughs> like, come on, and that's what we want. Like our kits and our figures to tell a story, even if it's a static pose. A and he does sell these um, wire stands. Figures he makes them himself. They sell out pretty quick. They're really good at holding a figure and keeping it in place. They are good balance. Uh, so they don't tip over. Yeah, they don't tip over or anything like that. Some 30 minute missions he got going on. Optimus. I don't know if this is the model kit though. So definitely give him a follow. Right, man. GPO2 coming in for the landing with the earth behind. Right. Come on, man. Definitely give him a follow. And I, I think I picked up a Kuma from him one time. And he's a cool dude, man. He answers questions, talk to you, all of that, man. So definitely check out 796 Studios on Instagram. And hit up his, I think he has an Etsy or whatever he uses to sell his dioramas and stuff. So. Pretty, pretty sick work, yeah. man. I need that that punched in pillar, dog. That that's crazy, right? The carbon like rider the thing through the head. This right here is one of my favorite shots. Look at yeah. look at the look at the feet, though. Right with the, with the ones, Jordan one. I feel like Dan he had a one, video or? like how he made it, dog. Like and like just him think... like placing the little trash on the floor. Oh yeah, yeah, the cement yeah, yeah. Wet. Oh my god. Damn. I wish I could find. Is it part of this? No, it's not. There is a video of him, like you said. Yeah, like, oh, my God. Let me see if I can... Yeah, he teaches... Not teaches, but he shows y'all how it works. Oh, here we go. Yeah, like, there it is. 
this yeah. this setup. Like crazy. Torn up newspaper. Cups. And it looks so simple, but it's right, that's it. It's some art behind it, man. Boom. Like look at perfect shot. Perfect shot. Yeah. I'll Wait, give him one that. day. One day we'll get there. We'll get there. One day. So shout out to him. Y'all go follow him on Instagram, man. He's he's pretty dope. And for the homie C D, you have Alex on the- Six one eight seven. Yeah, um, I haven't been following this guy too long. Maybe a couple months now, but uh, his work speaks for himself. When I seen this in my head, this is the uh, MGSD freedom, and I was like, you know, this That's is the kit. Cold. This is it. That's tough. The paint, the, subtle the shading, shading, perfect color matching. The uh, on my GM, this that was the first time I like I. Separated the pieces and flat coated what I wanted the flat coat and gloss what I wanted the gloss. Yeah. Having the metallic be gloss and then the rest of the kit still be flat, giving those two tones makes such a big difference. And even on this, yeah. you can see like the metallic is that shiny and the rest of the kit is mm-hmm. flat. And there's, there's some like yeah. red in there too that's bright, but having those different tones in there and the like the, the different coats makes a difference. And he snapped on this. Like. And that kick, I mean, it's probably a silly question, comes with water slides, right? Uh, no, it doesn't. It does not come with water slides. I guess it's not a stickers. But you know who's making some? They're on yeah. their way. So, ooh, uh, look at the just, eyes! Right, just look at the crazy, crazy He's nuts. And there's there's, and there's is... pistons in the ankles and stuff like that. That's just that. Like he he did the master grade freedom. That's the MGEX right there. Like. His his color palette's nice too. I like like he he does he will paint colors kits in the same colors. But he also you know will go in there and switch them up like what is it criminal. one hundred yeah yeah oh my god it's criminal that I believe he's know, fought Malaysian the too and he and their GWBC he was first runner up so I'm second place but Jeez. nuts the SD aerial yeah. High grade tie. Oh, this is the SD head on a high grade IBO hands. Those look like yeah, <laughs> or third party Those or something. Are, but that's crazy. It's crazy work, man. So that um, Z Ziong. Oh, hold on. Him second place. Oh. There's yours oh. right there. But, uh, yeah, enter that, and he took second place with that. But just like the masking on the head, like crazy. Give it, a, that, give it a different that's weapon. a stripe down on the face too which is nice yes like huh the different metallics look at the thrusters like kind of gives you that gradient too on there he uh oh, snap jesus christ custom arm right there reminds me of mega man blaster like it's the mix of scratch building painting decaling that like makes like the best builder stand out and like you can tell like he's perfecting his craft in each one of those like i might paint better than i scribe or i might like decal better than i can do something else but this guy he's like mixing them all together and man, another guy it takes a talent like a, man look mm. at that blue and like black the vibrant man oh man that's that's what i like so my limb still here dog it's that blue that you know that blue you've been searching for same that with cobalt the limb blue yeah, yeah it's, it's it gotta be the right color. And this is killed it, man. Tough. The Goku he painted, like he he does a lot of stuff, man. Like I said, another criminal. Criminally under followed two thousand followers, like just happened to oh, stumble upon this guy. Oh god. There you go, Coop. Oh, I'm looking people. I am looking at his Verka Wing Gundam Wing Zero. This looks amazing. The perfect shading. I mean, this is made in September 9th, 2022. So people go check it out. But the blues, the orange, the yellows. Wow, man. That's in an optimist right here. Oh, my goodness. 
with the LED. Uh, one day, yeah. man. One day. And all and now this looks amazing. Looks amazing. Shout out to this guy. Um, make sure y'all give him a follow. And again, for the people on Spotify, his name is Alex Ong 6187. So A L E X O N G 6187. And that's um that's our top two. Not top two, I'm sorry. There's our two creators for this week. Some talented people in their craft. In their craft. So shout out to shout out to them, man. We'll get like you said, bro. Drop them a follow. We'll get there one day, man. We'll get there one day. So improving a little bit. Two percent every day, man. What was it? One percent every day better? Yeah. As, As long as you're doing that. That's you should be able to t- change it around by the by the end of the year of, of like photography and your painting. That's that's why we're here, Project Twenty Three, right? It's that's, effective that's project, itself. project. Yep. Define. Go ask Siri or ask Alexa. What's the definition of project? Right. So <clears throat> next up, I want to hold it down. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of my man Austin. You're gonna hold down a real great man. This isn't because you didn't watch Rocky. This isn't because <laughs> you just found out what Texas Pete is not that long ago. This is still an Austin segment. Austin's real great, but we're gonna hold it down. And um, I'm gonna do one, which my knowledge is not gonna run off like <laughs> like Austin, right? So bear with me, people. But up for Coop's first real great. Then it, then it, we have the OZ Double O M S Toggies, the one of the underrated mobile suits, probably when you talk to right. people in the community. Underrated, but it's the kit that all the other Gundams are based on. Yeah, it is the Toggies from Gundam Wing. It is. It. it turned out to be if not my favorite from Gundam Wing it's how can I put it like it grew on me it definitely grew on me when it of the going back and rewatching it so the Toggies is piloted by Zex Marquis primarily piloted by Zex Marquis it is the prototype mobile suit for all Gundams and Gundam Wing so it started off with the Targies, they took the system, they reworked it, and it spit out a Wing Gundam. And then from there, it was developed more into the other suits that based off. So it's the prototype. It does have several versions. It has the Flugel, the Targies 2, the Targies 3, the Valkyrie Targies, the Leo is based off of this, um, the Ares. A whole lot is based off the Targies. I built the Master Grade. Both Targies one and Targies two master grade titanium finished Targies two, and mm. I built the real grade of both Targies and Targies three. I am in search for the missing link. You, Targies, you and me both. Two, real grade. Shout out Epion of Death because he snapped on his Targies. He, he went, made me he, yeah. Made me want to buy it even more. But. The Targies one out of all we're gonna go real grade, we're gonna go straight to the real grade. The Targies one real grade is a A. I'll give it an A. There is nothing wrong with the Targies one real grade. It gives you out right out of the box, looks amazing. Has a kind of glossy white plastic. The doppel gun is a deep navy gray blue. The feet, the thrusters. You're not going to get the TV one like you see here. You're going to get the endless waltz, glory of losers. So, like the there's some yellow, a lot more yellow than there is gray and black. Um, <clears throat> so that gets an A. All the real grades come off of it. So the Targies two, the Targies three. The backpack is amazing. Um, I like the backpack. The the, the gimmicks in the backpack. Oh, they open up, yeah. Like yeah, it's amazing. You open up one and they open and it opens up all of them. There's three six thrusters, 
in total three in each one. The master grade, I give the master grade a solid B. Solid B. Um, uh, looks amazing again. My waist on that one kept dipping back the ball joint because of the backpack. It's backpack heavy on the master grade, so it it dips back. Um, I did have to put some putty to keep it stiff or well, um sticky tack to keep it stiff and in a, in a pretty solid pose but the master grade looks amazing as well it's just the, it's backpack heavy so did you get the flugel you got the flugel right yep i do have the flugel I haven't built it the flugel is probably everybody's favorite right now it is the web it's the angelic wings the iconic wings that are on the wing zero in a different crest that's on the um toggies they took the in the i'm not going to try to spoil it but they took pieces of wing zero and combined it with toggies which if you when you read the manga you can kind of see how can i put it it was made it varied from the show. There was a like in the show the Toggies Zex blows up the Toggies to get in the Wing Zero. Yeah, the Wing Zero. Was it the Wing Zero? Wing, uh, wing Gundam. Got, yeah. He got in the Wing Gundam? Yeah, that was the Wing Gundam. Yeah, he got it. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he got it. No, that's how he found Wing Zero, right? Because he wound up piloting a Wing Zero and Hero pilot Epion. And they swapped. Yep. Yep. So he blew up the Toggies after he got into space and jumped into the Wing Zero. And it was almost something similar to that in the book. But the Flugel is dope. I do have the Master Grade. I haven't built it. I also have the Master Grade to the Toggies 3. Again, I haven't built that one either. So in the show, Dog Toggies 1, 2, and 3 did not disappoint. So in the show, it's an A+. Plus. In the manga, right. both one, two. If I don't, I haven't seen three in a manga. Even though they, I know there's a endless waltz manga, but I didn't see, didn't see how it interacted in the manga. So even in the manga with the flugel, I'm gonna give it an A plus. It's gonna be Coop's first real great recommendation. A plus overall, even with the master grade holding in a solid B. The real grade, the no grade, pretty solid for what they were back in the day. Um, and but the real grade is my favorite version of the tall views. Favorite, favorite variant. Favorite variant. Ooh. Ah man, I don't know. I would say back in the day it would have probably been three, but Toggies two grew on me. Something about the red. And the talkies too under the eyes just sells me on it every time. Right, like, right. So but the whip, right there. The, the whip, the, yes, the whip on the, the three. Heat. On the, the whip on the three is amazing. And I think the talkies two real great. I could be wrong. It gives you the opportunity to shorten the doppel the double gun, so you could do the pose, the iconic pose, because I think the do hey. is. It's too, the gun is too long for him to do yeah. it normally, but they give you a piece to where you can shorten it, <clears throat> and you can do the, the famous. Hey Bandai, post. please bring back. Please, two. please, I'm please. capping two of the talkies too when they come just out. Cause... Just because, just because, and that one's piloted by Trace Kush Renata. What was the other one? The Valkyrie. Was that in um? Oh, that was in um, Bill Fighters. It's That's right. The no, Bill Fighters. He fought the the dude with the Valkyrie. I think it was like a winner, a former winner uh, for USA. He had the talkies uh, in green, but I forgot what the. It's a different weapon pack. Looks amazing though. Talkies iconic, iconic suit. I, when it comes in the Gunpla world, the Gundam world. Um. Even in a game is dope. I do use the Toggies in the, in the Gundam Versus. 
the Tongi's three. I think two's in there as well. But it's my first real grade, and I'm gonna give everybody, anybody, and everybody who has built kits. The Toggies real grade is the way to go. And I think a lot of places are restocking them. I know my hobby yes. town just got like three, four of them in. I have one that's in box, ready to ready to go. Ready to so go. I have, so. I have one that I've been sitting on for like two years now. That One of these days I'm going right. to get to it because, I don't know. You, you just got to own one. I feel like you got to have one. Yeah. One day you'll, you'll want to build it. You'll yeah, and once it. you build it, like once you build it and go back and go, you know, I I built one and I went metallic gold i'm looking at it i went metallic gold on everything that's yellow in the real for the real grade so that's i'm tough. not and then there's the water slide decals you know the tv animation talkies no, so the i need the real tv grade, anime one yeah i know the, the real animation. grade talkies too drop the same time as the real grade talkies tv animation They're both p bear die um all three of, so you have tv animation toggies you have toggies 2 and toggies 3 are all p bandai and i believe the same goes for the master grid i think the toggies yeah. one is the, the only, only one uh, standard standing issue <clears throat> because toggies 2 yeah toggies 2 i picked up at new york comic-con when i didn't know that toggies 2 I didn't know anything about P Bear Die, and they told me ninety dollars for talking <laughs> to. I was like ninety dollars. Damn. What the f- okay, I'm getting hit in the head. All right, I guess this booth, even though it's Bandai, they flipping. Okay, that's cool too. Because <laughs> I didn't know anything about like P Bandai dog. I went right in there. I was the first in line. I grabbed the, uh, the Leo unit. Yeah, because <laughs> dog, what? That was like. The main reason I went to that booth was to get the talkies, because right. I, I think I told myself that I, I know I think I had the talkies three or something. I was like, I just need the talkies two, and Marvin posted uh, if you go to NYCC, they bet I was going to be there. They had the the booth, they have what is going to be at the booth, and it was the talkies two. And I was like, oh, getting that. Got went to. there, stood in line. Dude said ninety at checkout. God, what's up? It was like one fifty after I walked out. I was like, God. I guess I gotta have it. God, <clears throat> did you build it? Yeah. Uh, How bad? How bad? It wasn't bad. Did you, it, did you it do it justice? Bad. I know. Did you do it justice? Yeah. It's titanium finish, so I didn't paint it. And uh, it's the first okay. time I, first time I dealt with a chrome finish or a titanium finish. So when I was sanded. I was like, take it some off. Is, I was, yeah, I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Flaking and all that. But if you go, if you do it, it's undergated. So if you do a subtle sand, you get that. You can almost get like its own shading if you mm-hmm. go around the whole piece because it's that black chrome underneath. Yep. So it's like if you just sand, that'd be it, tough. Yeah, if you sand it right, you could you could get get the nub away and clear off. It's it's a dope kit, but the back it's still backpack heavy. It's still backpack heavy. So, but Coop's first real great. Damn. A, I gotta a give a real great one of these days too. I gotta give a real great yeah. one of these days. Hey man, we can't take it. We're not taking it for we're not taking for Austin, man. We're not <laughs> taking it for Austin. We promise you, Austin dog. We're not, yo. We hold it. We're in not now, replacing man. you, Austin. Not, hey, you not with that down, knowledge. Man. No. No. Here we are. Last segment. We're going to talk about Project 23 check-in. At the beginning of the year, our first video of the year, and we teased it all pretty much the whole time of last year while we was on. It's Project 23, and what Project 23 is, you take a few few things in your life, kits, figures, family, reading, and you say, I want to work on it. I want to work on it like a school project. And, um, for an example, myself, I'm working out in the gym. Um, wasn't a, I'm not a big fan of going into. A, I'm not CD in Austin. I don't go into Barnes and Nobles and say, "Oh, this shit looks dope." The ma- this manga. <laughs> I did. I did though. I went in and I picked up Avias. I'm still on book. You. Yeah, yeah. I'm still on book two because. 
I wanted to watch the show as, and compare it to the book. Show is slightly different from the book. I think the show is everything that leads up to the book. So, so some little. Does he still have his arms? I feel like doesn't he lose his arms in the anime? Yeah, he have any arms in the anime. Him. Yeah, in the book he doesn't. But in the book he's more colder. Like he's more like stone face. In in the show he's a little bit friendly. Like oh yeah I'm yeah I can. But in the book he's like don't talk like nothing like cold. So I picked up my first out of the way manga and reading more manga and toy photography changing up i got some girl kits that i'm taking some shots off and working with and we promise y'all the undergated network so we have i have coop's corner that's standby to standby there's a reason why right i have um one of the first so basically it's going to be toy hunt videos of me i'm going to be going back to my old toy hunting days and i'm going to be doing it some collabs shout out to the homie tom he um he's my japanese guy he he, he has some knowledge <laughs> of, the, of japan culture because of japanese culture he's from japan he's going to be going around and being like some of my videos austin i'm gonna bring trail back out but got a few videos in the works already boots on the so, ground huh you back at it back at it so um <clears throat> axia i'm working on as a project 23 kit through and through like cd said we really did it we took our time with kits but we want to take extra time with these project 23 kits competition ready kits and what i mean by what cd was saying earlier he said on his gm he flat coated I mean flat coated the pieces that needed to be flat and glossed the pieces that need to be glossed and that's what i'm doing with the x here i'm gonna do everything like all the flat pieces flat coated all the color all the pieces that i want to flat coat flat coated decal and when i put the armor on that'll be it that'd be right. it like it'd be done no more cutting those corners yeah no more cutting the corners so the x here my long project for the year is the banshee perfect grade and uh, i'm gonna take a, a toy photography obviously more gundams and girl kits i'm gonna take a lot more and ultraman sh figure arts and stuff like that coming along yes. so coop's corner stand by we told you our first quarter this first quarter is not over yet but we promise we promise we're gonna take take y'all out with me too when we all do some outdoor toy photography shots so I'm go through you, the process. Get get in, get in Spike Lee's mindset because for y'all that don't know, Coop, he does all nah, the editing man. and he does he does a lot of this and <laughs> his, his noggin up here, man. He uh he, he understands it. So um that's definitely one thing I I, I promise I will work on too for our project twenty three is just getting behind the camera more and you know being uh getting in my directorial bag, if I should say correctly. Mm. Set, I like setting it. up the shots, setting up the scene. That's definitely one I like thing it. I definitely want to get into that. Uh, I see that you have mastered or you know still improving on, but you know, you, yeah, you, you've you've got it down for sure. Well, I think once people definitely see your process and see how you will go through your mind when it comes to changing it up, like the color schemes up and stuff like that, I think that people will be like, hey, like way more respect. I'm trying, man. Um, as far as Project Twenty Three for me, uh, I wanted to sit down, man, and get back into get back into my manga and anime. It's, I feel like the last couple of years I've slowly been just progressing to one over the other. You know, I have a lot more time that I can sit through and scroll through a chapter of a manga. Mm -hmm. I don't really have thirty minutes to like, watch anime. So I, this time I wanted to sit down and I picked up uh, I picked two animes from this season, one that I've been watching. And then one new one that like I have nothing new about. So the one I knew nothing about was called High Card. It's a new. I don't believe there's even any an, uh, manga to it. Mm -hmm. It's a. It's about a, a deck of playing cards that's scattered around the world. Each playing card has a power. The lower the playing card, so two being the lowest has like the lowest ability. Kings mm -hmm. being the highest, and they, 
you know, each people get their own card. The card chooses them type, gives them their powers, and it's like a power struggle. Dope fighting scenes. Um, it's really, it's been pretty enjoyable. I'm on episode four. I think there's nine out, but just, you know, with me, I read so much manga. I feel like I, I've already read a lot of stuff. So it's, it's, I'm trying to find things that I have, haven't read or I don't know anything about just to like dive back in and, and find that love for the anime and manga again. And then uh, a show that I have watched previously that I'm going to start collecting the manga for now is called Bungalow Stray Dogs. Season four is out now. It's another like superpower type of show. They're called Gifted. A lot of good fight mm-hmm. scenes, a lot of like history, but it's a really, really good show. And I suggest, I think it's something you would like too. Um, it, it's dope, I'm man. Right. So I, I, I think you like I'm it. Right. I think you like. I might, it. I might look at it. I might look it up. You shoot me. You got a manga for it, right? Yes, sir. Is it a manga? Uh-uh. It, it's it, it's it a straight right. manga. But uh, Barnes and Nobles, I'm sure your, your half price books or uh, Second and Charles will have it. It's pretty mm-hmm. popular. I mean, it's four seasons. You know, too many mangas don't get more than like one or two seasons. So, mm-hmm. for it to be on its fourth, it's pretty big. But I really wanted just to sit down and pick up more books, man. So that's why you see, like every week, I try to go get a new book or something, just yeah, to get back in the habit of it. Um, and then as far as kits, that GM man. Once I'm done with that, I think, like I said, that's probably the best thing I've, I've put out so far. Just the combination of the scribing, taking my time, and not. You know, I'm usually just good for it, putting it on the stick and just top coding it. Yeah. Call, call it a day. But once it's finally like piece by piece, not even just like I usually build it and put the decals on it. This time I actually like decal piece by piece, panel line piece by piece, cleaned up mm. piece by piece and put the whole thing together. And like that in itself is like progression for me because now you know like where I've come from. Like I, like I said, I was even putting stuff on the back. And for me to do a, a complete build front to back, like, I, I never thought I'd be able to do it. So, it's, but we're here now. It's we're Project Twenty Three in itself, man. And you all been holding me accountable too. So, yeah, I think that's another thing: holding each other accountable and having like a group that you can talk to, you know, bounce ideas off. Yeah, and that's why I, I, I love the pod, man. Like just being able to sit up here with you guys and talk, you know, and bounce ideas off each other. Because that, at the end of the day, that's making each one of us better in, in different aspects. Whether you picking up scribing or you know. Or, Austin getting back to high grades or you know me trying to do something other than a high grade I think I uh, yeah. all rubbing off on each other in a good way yeah, absolutely because you know Austin pushed us to these girl kids and that's kind of right. pushing me to these <laughs> dog Austin I, I, I can't because I looked CD knows I looked at I'm sorry people I looked at like two more girl kids and like 100, <laughs> 120 a piece dad going you Austin but um, <laughs> I appreciate both of y'all for like keeping me in check like i'm like man i can't you know the competitor me i can't like yeah right. these two guys run away and so if it's not describing or digging out the pen lines or taking a piece and really taking your time with it and no rushing you know um i know cd before would say oh i finished a kid in seven days right, right. but we could really really that's going just even thinking about that is wild bro and how a crazy. kid in seven days and that's what makes it <laughs> sickening right because like in that moment you know hindsight's 2020 in that moment we're like yo i mean both of nuts. us we ran through kids nuts but you, you put imagine out five you, painted kids in like a month <laughs> like imagine if we was like yo let's take our time like we doing now right and the, and the work speaks for itself bro. Like yeah. When you're done with this exit and you and you sit back and you're gonna be like, I took my time and like you can tell, like yeah, you took and that's what makes it sickening because I'm working on kits that my future self right now is probably kicking myself for going like, why the hell did you break out that banshee now, back then, right. when you exactly. could have did it today? Why did you waste that P bandai kit? Yeah, because I'm like, doing it now oh. with the Targi three and I have <laughs> built the Targi three. And I went out and bought another one, but now, mm, ah. and so that's what I was asking about that uh, tall geese too, because I know you bought that tall geese too at three years ago. Like looking back now, like if it wasn't the titanium fish, it was just a regular. I know you'd go crazy on it now. Just like that, the heavy arms uh, eagle unit, yeah, eagle unit, heavy arms I'm, Shenlong, Shenlong Liao <laughs> unit. She cost me an extra fifty. Because now I gotta go back and buy the master grades. Now I gotta like, wow, man, I gotta get it. Gotta cop another heavy arm. Shout out to Austin for that one though. But 
inform people man let people know what you got in the works for the network that the cd's playlist right uh cd's playlist is coming soon y'all i want to sit down and talk manga i want to sit down and talk anime i want to sit down and talk about classics man a lot of people are hung up on the new demon slayer they're hung up on jujitsu kaisen which are all cool animes and stuff but you know what came before that you know that's what i want to talk about like let's talk about some 90s let's talk about some early 2000s let's talk about cowboy bebop let's talk about fully cool let's talk about tokyo ghoul even like man some of my yeah. some of my favorites and why i think you should take a you know take a page out and just sit down and look i want i want to be able to give you some stuff that might not be in your you know lane that you'll mm-hmm. still will find interesting so uh, i got some stuff for us and i got some stuff for you coop i got some stuff for everybody i think that you know that if you enjoy anime you know if you want something that's a little different that you can sit down and just watch or read so i feel like i've watched enough anime i've read enough manga you can ask my wife she every time she looks over me what are you doing scrolling are you reading mm-hmm. i got mm. three websites four apps that i constantly refresh throughout the day and i and it's nuts that i can like remember like oh this shit hasn't refreshed like this is the new chapter first chapter in eight months and i i can just pick it up and, and exactly know what's going on so i, I envy I, you I, I got that, some dog. I envy you for that because I have cleaned out my trunk the other day. I mean, like, because of the accident, found one of my bags, and in that bag was Ultraman book 17. Mm. I read halfway through it, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Fuck no. And I'm like, yeah, for you to be able to just pick up, like, remember, that's crazy. Man, it's only the manga, though. The shows, no. The manga yeah. shows. Something about me reading it and, like, visualizing it. I might be a manga over anime type of guy. I think that now I think about it over the years, I think the manga sticks with me more. I could, I could, I could watch Gundam and tell you, I could give you a synopsis, but if I read it, I would, you know, so yeah, so mm. it sticks to me more when I'm reading it. So maybe something about read it. And that's why I like sub too. Cause I feel like I learned like me reading, physically reading it. Some, well, so it. you need to get some, what, uh, what Gundam manga you got in there? And I, um, well, everything well for you is online you reach it is online yeah that's right my bad that's my bad hey i picked i went to barnes and nobles and i picked up book 14 of thunderbolts and i just kind of skimmed through and i was like i might need to go back and look at this because mm. this shit looks dope <laughs> yeah mm. yeah i gotta i dope. gotta stop playing i gotta keep a gotta keep some manga in rotation just like i do with the kits and the shows i gotta keep because now that I have book three, shout out to you again for that of Psychopath. Hey, I gotta go back and read book one soon. and two. Yep, I gotta read one and two again, and I think I have book five and six is about to come out in next week. Next, have week, you done any research on the show? Is it uh, just a continuation of season one? Does it, do do I care? No, do I care? No, I want to watch <laughs> it like it's, like it's brand new. Yeah, it's like it's brand new. <laughs> I don't watch it like I don't even know who Kogami and all. Oh, right. Come on. Oh, wow. Where the popcorn at? No, no. <laughs> I want to shit up. Where my soda at? No, no, no. I don't really, like, no. I'm in there. Don't matter. But it should be. Um, I want to I want to assume that it's going to be not a uh, continuation because season two was kind of. It might be. It might be a continuation because I think you have to watch. One and two, and in the movie, and then we'll see, we'll see. And I need to go back and rewatch Soccer Pass. Can we? Let's do that. Let's all have a view party. Let's each one of us pick a show. They're not going to be super long. But let's let's go through it and talk about it. I like. Soccer I think Pass, one. So I, I think. I think. Um, I was thinking about this, and people comment below. You think the Undergated Boys should do a a book club? Ooh. Book of the month. I think so. Look at a month. I think that might be coming in the future. We all get a like book, uh, a book, and um, maybe go on IG Live and we discuss the book. Well, if anybody else that want to pick up the book and yeah, go through the chapters let's with do us, a book club. We could, yeah, so I, we I do, love um, reading. I, I love the the turning the page of a manga. Like that, and see, what made me stuff. think of that was the um. Um, Shars Counterattack manga is coming back. It's coming out August. in English. Coming soon. Yeah, I think that'd be a pretty, pretty dope. Um, first book club. We could do it. You want to run it in August? So yeah. far away. You August? So far away. We'll, we'll talk you wanna, about 
Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll discuss it. Stand by, stand by, people. Um, I think that, I think that'd be dope. Austin, I know. If I wish he was here to, to speak on it, but he is also working too in the lab. Y'all see what he's working on? He just got done wrapping up the GM Sniper Two that he brought to the um, competition. The Zaku Warrior with the metal frames, heavy, craziest photography is getting crazier and crazier. And y'all Crazy. see the way. Y'all see the way Austin progresses. And think about it like this for people that might not know. I'm gonna toot my man's horn. Pause here. Um go back and look at like the first few episodes and then you see Austin. Like boom. Right. And then like then he's like, oh snap. He got he got the new place. Backdrop change. All right, Austin. Oh right. snap, he got the mic. Audio got better. All right, Austin. That oh, natural snap, lighting he put. I got the camera in there. Oh snap! Like Austin, y'all can see the progression while y'all looking at the progression. So y'all already right. know whatever Austin's about to work on next is going to be nuts. So stand by to stand by for that. Make sure you following all of us on Instagram and and don't forget we got a we got a fucking giveaway going on. Dog, what? What? Let them know. Talk. Let's let's talk about it. We got the hundred subscriber up here. giveaway. Come on, it's man. the hundred subscriber up giveaway. Up you see that and real grade is, box? The real grade high new. I think they only got what? A couple more episodes? Two more episodes? Oh, they got they got one more week. We, we are one picking more week. winners next week. Yes. Yeah. So the next time y'all watch us, we want to have a winner. And all you have to do is go back to the episode that we talked about resin with Gunpla OG follow all four of us and subscribe to the channel and comment your favorite resin kit that you want or a dream resin kit that you want like we all will love a serpent custom resin kit right. i think everybody will love a serpent custom from endless waltz Come on, man. um please shit rose and zulu it's out there i just can't afford it yeah that's all you have to do and this kit the high new real grade is bought to you by Vulcan Hobby. Shout out to Vulcan Hobby. Use the Undergate 10 to get 10% off at checkout. Save a couple. Why not? Like, Save think about it. He just restocked. He, has, he just restocked. Let's just say USA Gundam has the kit you want for 45 Okay, shipping $10. You're looking at about $60. You get to go to Vulcan Hobby to have the same kit. Use Undergate 10, get 10% off. It's kit 45 take four dollars and fifty cent off so now we're looking at 40 plus shipping might be a little bit cheaper but I, I, hey. i'd wager that you'd get your kit faster from walking than usa you, oh, oh yeah i could probably put money on that one too <laughs> i could probably put money on that one too but check out vulcan hobby vulcan hobby.com he, like uh, uh, cd man. said he's Carrying about to drop another restock on them p bandai kits high grades real grades master grades cars now too cars Volk, yeah volks kits um, he's coming man he has he Definitely. has a big lot so make sure you guys tap in with vulcan hobbies make sure you tap in coop are you gonna do this reaction to this to this uh to this trailer oh, yeah, or what, yeah, yeah 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 my bad my bad fellas my bad people i, I want to see gotcha. what you think as a as a fellow witcher mercury is kind of trash let's see let's see what we got going on here let's see which um mercury Season two. Two we got. I got a a minute and fifty five second trailer on That's Gundam true. Info that came out three three days ago. Okay, hold on. I got you. I got you. So we can hear what we have going on here. Present. This is a live reaction of Witch from Mercury Season 2. This is up on Gundam Info right now. Let me go. Let me go back and um, I'm not trying to spoil it. Spoiler alert for... Spoiler alert. Might... Spoiler alert. Yeah. Spoiler alert for somebody that might not want to watch. This is a trailer though. So, I mean, what's a trailer? Here we go. You ready, CD? You seen it. I did, I did. This is the second time now. This show? Now I'm going. Miyuri-san! 
逃げずに進んだら逃げるよりいっぱい手に入るんです私はスレッタが勝つって信じてるよ誰の思いも背負ってないやつが邪魔してんじゃねえ僕には何もないと思っていたけどそうじゃなかったんだ俺はスレッタ・マーキュリーに進めていない君からガンダムと花嫁を奪い取る私が逃げなくてよくなったのはあんたのおかげなの今みんなを救えるのはあなたたちだけよ進める進んできた逃げたら一つ進めば二つガンダムは暴力マシーンだってことはお姉ちゃんに教えてあげるね最初からずっと流れそろい傷を天井にパークを取り囲んで寂しいとかいつまでねるきよクソ親父大丈夫です私とエアリアルがついてますからこの学園から出て行って父さんを引きずり込むよ俺の計画にムザムザ死ぬのはごめんだよアーシアンのくせにヘラヘラとメドバレーがおもおってろってろかよお前が来てからおかしくなったんだ何もかもスレッタは正しいことをしたお母さんはいつも私を前に進ませてくれる優しい魔法使いなんです戦い失う悲しみもない世界約束したんですミオリネさんの誕生日まで私負けませんIt has a lot of shoes to fill. Season two, let's just say people are going to compare this to IBO season two. IBO, I got chills even thinking about it. You see that? <laughs> season two IBO. <laughs> Lily got chills when he said it. <laughs> season two IBO is crazy. So when people start comparing, because that's what other people did the other day at Hobby Town, we started like, man, it has a lot to catch up on. But、uh, we'll see. We'll see. I still stand by my stance. The opening episode zero, crazy. I thought it was great. It was like a, and then all the way up until maybe the last two episodes, kind of building that momentum. Everything else in between was a, it could have been a different anime for all I know. Yeah. yeah. We look forward to it. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah. We'll talk about it once、um, Austin gets back and g e t his side of it. And a shout out. Again, to everybody who listens on Spotify and tunes in with us on Instagram, hits us up, tags us. We appreciate y'all. Oh, don't forget, use Undergate Project 23. Hashtag Undergate Project 23 so we can see some of y'all builds because we're going to start putting them up here so we can check them out. Because, like CD said, accountability. We're going to hold some of y'all accountable, which is cool.、Right. Hope y'all like it. Hope y'all like it.、Right. But until next time, though. Man, everybody stay positive. Count your blessings.、Right. Count them. I mean, I'm, I'm able to walk away from a really, really bad accident. And、um, I, I'm thankful to be here, dog. I'm thankful、That's、I can、man. sit here and be able to relax and chill and speak to the homies and speak about g u n d a m s and enjoy things that I can enjoy and step away from the real stresses of life. So, appreciate everything. You know, don't take anything for granted.、Um, keep striving, keep working hard. Everything, you're, you're going to blossom. Everybody's going to blossom the way they're supposed to. I'm Coop. That's CD over there. We're undergated, never underrated. Until next time. Never underrated, Joe. And then he got the stripper going, look like going crazy. <laughs> <laughs>